Showers and thunderstorms pressing in across central and eastern Kentucky. Just ahead, we'll explain why this is now more of a heavy rain threat. Shane was a very easy going man, simple person. Family and friends of a central Kentucky man who died after police say someone shot him in a stockyard gathered tonight to remember him. Kentucky lawmakers are taking a look at some bills that supporters say will go a long way in protecting the state's animals. WKYT News starts now with First Alert Weather. And good evening. It is a WKYT First Alert Severe Weather Day, and tonight we are keeping a close eye out for the threat of heavy rain and gusty winds. We begin tonight with Chief Meteorologist Chris Bailey. He shows us what he's tracking right now on the First Alert Defender. Chris? Yeah, guys, starting out things with some good news tonight. The overall severe thunderstorm threat continues to lower across our entire region. That doesn't mean we're completely out of the woods, but that threat is lower compared to what we were talking about earlier this evening. Still a very potent line of thunderstorms off to our west. The overall lightning within those storms, though, has diminished over the past few hours. That's a further uh, or sign of further weakening within those storms. Out ahead of it, the rains that we've had over the past several hours really helping our cause tonight. That is calming the atmosphere down just a little bit. Had we not had all the rain ahead of this line, that line would still be intact and still be producing a lot of wind damage. Heavy rains across parts of central and northern Kentucky over the past couple of hours on your Defender radar network. The closer we get now to the Interstate 65 corridor, we start to pick up on that line. And to show you how this is not a very impressive line, let's go into 3D Defender mode to show you the overall vertical development of those thunderstorms. We're looking to see how tall those storms are. When you're looking for severe weather in a setup like this, you're looking for those reds to really be spiking way above the yellows there. That is not the case now, though that line to the north of Bowling Green is beginning to ramp up just a little bit. We're still going to get 40 to 50 mile per hour wind gusts right along that boundary. A lot of the severe weather across parts of the deep south helping our cause as well. That absorbed a lot of that energy, but even here now, things are beginning to calm down somewhat. Let's look at our future radar now to track the line of showers and thunderstorms into town. You notice how it doesn't have those deep dark reds like what the future radar was showing a little earlier in the night. That's more of a heavy rain signature that will carry us through the rest of the night and into tomorrow with those winds at times along that boundary, guys, that can still crank greater than 40 miles per hour. Coming up in a few minutes, we'll have a new hour by hour forecast that shows you when those storms get completely out of the state and we'll show you what follows it up as well. Chris, thank you. Now, some tornadoes did touch down in parts of the south tonight. This is video showing one that caused damage in Aliceville, Alabama, near Tuscaloosa. It damaged homes and a federal prison, but no serious injuries so far have been reported. Tornadoes also caused damage in neighboring Mississippi tonight. Strong winds could bring down some trees across Kentucky overnight, and tree trimming companies in the bluegrass say they've been busy taking calls from people concerned about trees outside their homes. Workers at Dave Leonard Tree Specialist in Versailles say regularly pruned trees have the best chance of surviving storms, but other trees might not be as lucky. Basically, previously damaged trees, trees that have been struck by lightning a year or two or three ago, could certainly be an issue, and that's a, a big thing. Tree trimmers also worry about trees that have been topped or trees that have any kind of fungus around the bottom. A reminder, you can track storms along with the very latest traffic with the WKYT Weather Plus Traffic app. You can download it for free in the app or Google Play stores. People who knew him say he was well-known and well-liked in his community, and they can't understand why someone would want to kill him. Tonight, they gathered at a Garrett County restaurant to remember a murder victim. State police say that 53-year-old Shane Thomason died yesterday after being shot at the Washington County Livestock Center. Garrett Weimer talks to some of Thomason's friends in our top story at 11. A Mexican restaurant may not be the first place you'd think of for a memorial. But those who knew Shane Thomason say there are few places more fitting. So they came. Uh, Shane was a very easygoing man, simple person. He liked to be by himself. He liked to do what he did. He didn't like nobody knowing what he was doing. He just took life away of life. And Friends and family filled the place, their wounds still fresh from losing someone they say was a great man. He was, he was one of the best. He was one of the best. You couldn't, you couldn't ask for a better guy. He'd give you anything he had. 
Help you in any way could help you. Those who knew Shane Thomason say he would come here to Mariachi's Mexican restaurant every single night. He'd sit right here, they say, sipping a beer with a good friend. Now his seat is empty, but his beer is still here, alongside flowers, pictures, paying tribute to a man clearly loved by so many. Gonna miss him? Oh, yeah. Terrible. Oh, yeah. We already do. He'll be honored every day we live. Things won't be the same without him, they say, but they still have lots of memories, starting right here with his beer and his seat in Lancaster. Garrett Weimer, WKYT. Very obvious that he'll be deeply missed. State police have not identified a suspect or any persons of interest in connection with the shooting. New tonight, Lexington police are looking for a man they say robbed a hotel at gunpoint. It happened just after 8 tonight at Bluegrass Extended Stay on Richmond Road. Police say a man walked in, pulled out a gun, and demanded money from the clerk. After getting some money from the register, police say he ran off. No one was injured. Tomorrow, people calling for more protection for Kentucky's animals will gather in Frankfort for Humane Lobby Day. They want Kentucky lawmakers to pass some bills designed to help animals and toughen penalties for those who abuse them. New at 11, Monique Blair is at the live desk with a look at what's been proposed. Monique? Well, Amber, several bills are moving through the Kentucky le legislature right now that, if passed, would give more protection to animals. One of those, for example, would include a stiffer punishment for anyone who owns, breeds, trains, or sells dogs for the purpose of fighting. I see a lot that the general public does not see. I don't think a lot of them realize that there are dog fighting rings around here. Animal rescue volunteer Leslie Coffey says oftentimes the way many of the laws are spelled out right now, there isn't a whole lot that can be done to help animals who are suffering. There are dogs that are being abused and they call and they ask me, you know, can you come help this animal? Can, can you do something to help them? And if there's not laws or bills there that give us the opportunity to go do that legally, then our hands are tied. Another bill introduced would in part allow veterinarians to release animal welfare information such as abuse to government authority, something that is currently not legal in Kentucky. Most of the abuse cases we see are reported to animal control. Animal control then usually seeks a veterinarian for their opinion and then it goes from that point on. So the bill would have to be more refined and spell out what it is. Now another one of the bills moving through legislation would make it illegal to ban certain dog breeds in Kentucky. Another bill would allow a person to break a window out of a car to save a dog or cat in distress without legal consequence. Now if you want to voice your support for any of these bills, you can find the number to call on our website at WKYT.com. At the live desk, Monique Blair, WKYT. Monique, thank you. The rally to support these bills will be held at the Capitol Rotunda tomorrow morning, and it begins at 10.30. The U.K. basketball team jumping out to a big early lead against Tennessee tonight, but it only got worse for the Cats as the game went on. Brian joins us now with a look at tonight's game, and Brian, pretty disappointing. Yeah, just when you think you have something figured out with this ball club, you're reminded you really don't. And so it is with Kentucky basketball tonight facing Tennessee down in Knoxville. After a slow start, UK, they would erupt to a huge lead. Up six, the lob to Alex Poitras. It's now 14-6. And then Kentucky really got going. The leads at 11. When Derek Willis is open on the wing, it's 25-11 now. Willis had 8.8 rebounds. Kentucky with more. 34-13 the advantage when Isaiah Briscoe hits that shot. And then the Vols just started to go crazy. They go on a spurt. The lead's cut to four on that dunk by Devin Balkman. Tennessee takes its first lead of the game when, De when Dietrich Mostella hits that three, 56-54 uh, Tennessee. Euless hits this three, followed by a Derrick Willis three. And at this point, you think, well, Kentucky's kind of weathered the storm. They're going to make it. But Tennessee was not to be denied. The big orange was on fire in the clutch. Kevin Punter. Game high 27. That three was a dagger. Cal doesn't know what's going on. Neither does the Big Blue Nation. 84 77. The final is Tennessee stuns. Brian, thank you. And UK's next game is Saturday in Rupp Arena against the Florida Gators.
A new confirmed case of the Zika virus in the U.S. is different than others. Doctors say the patient didn't contract it from a mosquito. The update in nine minutes. And then why Kentucky House Democrats say they likely will not approve a big part of Governor Bevin's proposed state budget. Still tracking a gusty round of showers and thunderstorms across central and eastern Kentucky. We'll focus on that in the longer range that takes on a more winter look. Seven-day forecast still busy and it's after the break. When you turn on your faucet, you expect to drink clean water. But after the water crisis in Flint, Michigan, WKYT investigates what's being done locally to keep our water clean. What's in your water? Thursday at 6 on WKYT. Get weather plus traffic with a WKYT weather app. Have the Defender Radar Network in the palm of your hand while checking your driving conditions for your commute on the same screen. Weather plus traffic on the WKYT weather app. These gray skies, you can shake them up, you can wake them up. Wake up with a hot McCafe coffee starting at only $1. Smoke Vapor Lounge specializes in a variety of electronic devices and refill liquids. Let our team of experts help customize your vaping experience. Stop in and see why we are Lexington's premier vape lounge. Touch, taste, and feel the difference with Alt Smoke. Clients come into the office. The government has said, no, I don't believe you. You're not disabled. The major problem with Social Security disability is that most people who sign up are denied at the initial level. If your claim's denied, don't give up. Call us immediately. We'll appeal your case. We can do an effective job of representing you that will get you the benefits that you deserve. Call Morgan, Collins, and Yeast. 1-800-55-WILDCAT. Looking to fall in love this Valentine's Day? Fall in love with summer at the Kentucky Sport Boat and Recreation Show. Shop the latest boats, RVs, and motorsports. Visit the Kentucky Sport Boat and Recreation Show. Brought to you by Lee's Ford Marina. Stay connected to the news that matters to you. WKYT. If you've been injured on the job, do yourself and your family a favor. Visit ForThePeople.com to learn about all of your legal rights. Morgan & Morgan, For The People. Save money at Lexington Diagnostic Center. It's your choice. Real cheese? Yes, please. Introducing new melty mozzarella sticks at McDonald's. Made with 100% real cheese, served hot. Dip them in zesty marinara deliciousness. Now on McDonald's McPick 2 for $2 menu. Get WKYT news and weather updates on 104.5 The Cat. WKYT first alert severe weather day continues as we track a line of showers and thunderstorms on in from west to east. This line, though, a little good news beginning to weaken out just a little bit. Severe weather cam showing wet conditions at all locations. Richmond cam being a little shy on us here at the last minute. But overall, the trend for those thunderstorms that are working their way in from the west for a lesser severe weather threat to come from those. Still right now in Lexington, as we overlook Hamburg Pavilion, 64 degrees at 11 o'clock on Groundhog Day. Think about that. When we hit 70 this afternoon, we shattered a record high for this date. So it's the hottest Groundhog Day that you've ever experienced or that anyone currently alive has ever experienced. The old record was back in the early 1890s. Winds right now gusting at 31 miles per hour. This is very impressive. Even at this late hour, when I see upper 60s in February showing up, that's more impressive than the 70 high this afternoon with sunshine. Absolutely ridiculous with those temperatures. Now, again, as we've been saying all week and even in the last week, today had a shot at record highs and severe weather. But you get that warm up. This time of year, kind of sandwiched between cold spells, like what this week is, chances are it's going to give and something has to pop in terms of some showers and thunderstorms. So we had severe weather in the parts of western Kentucky. That threat, though, is lessening the farther east that we go. Defender Radar Network still busy with general run-of-the-mill rains across central Kentucky. Notice the enhancement here across the Louisville metro area heading toward parts of E-Town into Hardin County. That is right along and ahead of that cold front. If we are to get some wind damage of 50 miles an hour or greater, it would be right along that boundary that you see 
in your 3D Defender mode here. That stretch, uh, stretches a little farther to the southwest toward parts of Bowling Green, but overall, the rains that we've had on and off for the better part of the evening helping to soothe or calm the atmosphere. You get a lot of rain ahead of a squall line of thunderstorms, chances are that line of thunderstorms isn't going to be as strong. So that's what we're dealing with right now. Still, though, healthy slug of moisture coming on into town. Tornado threat right now is very, very low. High winds, still a possibility. Heavy rains, a good likelihood as well. We could be talking about some general one or two inch rains for the remainder of the overnight into parts of central and eastern Kentucky. That could be enough to cause some stream and or street flooding. A lot of flooding into parts of western Kentucky and southern Indiana. Hour by hour forecast now, 2 o'clock in the morning. That line that we're looking at, or we were just looking at on Defender back across the Louisville area, is right on top of central Kentucky. Notice how then it picks up a little forward speed. It zips its way quickly through eastern Kentucky as we go through 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. By noon tomorrow, we are basking in sunshine and things are looking good. And then all of a sudden, we get a cold front in here, second half of the day tomorrow. By tomorrow evening, it is cold enough by this time tomorrow night for maybe a wet snowflake or two to fly around. Maybe a flurry in early Thursday morning. We wake up to temperatures into the upper 20s and low 30s and likely to stay mainly in the 30s as we go into your Thursday afternoon with a better brand of air that is coming into town as we go into Super Bowl weekend. Once we get past Super Bowl weekend next week, taking on a distinct winter look, and we could be talking about snow back into the picture across much of the eastern half of the country and Arctic air taking over one extreme to the other. We still have the current extreme to go through tonight, but overall that severe weather threat compared to when we last talked at 6 o'clock is much lower. Good news. Good news there. Right, we'll still be here, though. Okay, thanks. Singer Lady Gaga now has a key role before Super Bowl 50 kicks off Sunday night. We'll explain for you in seven minutes. Choosing a college is about setting a course, a path that leads to your destination. At EKU, the adventure is what lies in between. Eastern Kentucky University. Great journeys begin here. Some mornings are harder than others. You push through anyway. Sometimes you wonder if it'll ever pay off, but you stay the course because they need you to. It doesn't happen right out of the gate. It takes dedication. Every day, every dollar. You've planned one step at a time, well, with some really good help. It's for them. It's always been for them. Trust our team to help you cross the finish line. Wealth South, your race, our team. At Baptist Health, we want you to know the facts. Visit BaptistHealthDocs.com to view a video of Dr. Molly Hauser on detecting and treating gestational diabetes. Baptist Health Lexington, be a healthier you. Get on your computer or mobile device. Because of all the great Toyota deals out there, most are not seen on TV. That's why you need to visit buyatoyota.com for a huge selection of savings offers that couldn't possibly fit in a TV commercial, including 0% financing, great lease deals, and two-year no-cost maintenance. So get on your computer or mobile device and go to buyatoyota.com, Toyota's official website for deals. Toyota, let's go places. In Kentucky, elder abuse is on the rise. Most nursing home residents say nothing in fear of retaliation. Watch for signs, bruises, scratches, bed sores, and cues in body language. If you suspect nursing home abuse, you need to seek justice. Call Hughes and Coleman, 800-800-4600. 800-800-4600. Before it's too late. Sleep is a critical component of our athletic training at UK. Our sleep experts are the champions at matching our customers to the best bed for them. This week at Sleep Outfitters, get a free TV with qualifying purchase. Like this Sealy Pillow Top Queen set with gel foam, now only $4.99, plus a free TV. Go to sleepoutfitters.com for store locations and hours. Sleep Outfitters, official sleep provider of UK Athletics. Sleep like a champion, play like a champion. 
When big news breaks, be the first to know. Download the WKYT News app and turn on push alerts. Breaking news at your fingertips when you need to know what's going on. Push alerts, now available on the WKYT News app. Tonight, health leaders in Texas have confirmed the first U.S. case of the Zika virus transmitted through sexual contact. And this comes a day after the World Health Organization declared the Zika outbreak a global health emergency. Health leaders say the person in Texas had not traveled out of the country, but had sex with someone who had been in the tropical regions where the virus is circulating. It is no surprise that there may be rare sexual transmission of Zika. There have been a couple of cases in the world literature before, but the overwhelming way that Zika spreads is from a mosquito. There are more than 30 confirmed cases of the Zika virus in the U.S., all of them, but the Texas patient were infected overseas. So far, there are no reports of the Zika virus being transmitted by mosquitoes in the U.S. New tonight, police have arrested an Ashland couple they say caused their three-month-old son's death. A Boyd County grand jury indicted 27-year-old Leslie Daniels and 28-year-old Nora Sawyers on murder charges. Police say the couple's son, Landon, died last summer of blunt force trauma to the head, consistent with shaken baby cases. A week after the governor proposed a two-year state budget, House Democrats say they likely will not approve his spending cuts. The governor is calling for $650 million in cuts, but House Budget Committee Chairman Rick Rand says he doesn't understand why the cuts are needed when he says the state is projected to finish the year with a $200 million surplus. Governor Bevin says the cuts will help make sure there's enough money for state pensions and Medicaid. We're five days away from Super Bowl 50, and tonight we learn who will sing the national anthem. The NFL says Lady Gaga will sing the Star Spangled Banner before the game Sunday night. Lady Gaga recently won a Golden Globe, and she's nominated for Best Original Song at next month's Academy Awards. You can watch Super Bowl 50 right here on WKYT. Coverage begins at 2 o'clock on Sunday afternoon. Kickoff is at about 6.30. And the two of us, yeah. Chris Bailey and company, will be here Sunday night with you for Super Bowl 50. We'll be up late with you for we sure. All right, Brian, we have a new high school scoring champion tonight. She's a good one. Yeah, Jenkins guard Whitney Creech has done the unthinkable. And the Cats do the unthinkable as well, only in a negative way. The Vols stun the Cats in Knoxville. Sports is next. WKYT's High School Game Time is brought to you by Eastern Kentucky University. I wasn't too thrilled about dentures, but I need to be able to chew. So I called Aspen Dental. They got me right in because my visit was long overdue. And no one on staff even made me feel bad that I had been in since the leg warmer fad. My new dentures came with a great guarantee, so this giant pretzel's got nothing on me. With dentures starting at $3.99 and a money-back guarantee, dentistry's never been easier. Call 1-800-ASPEN-DENTAL. Looking to fall in love this Valentine's Day? Fall in love with summer at the Kentucky Sport Boat and Recreation Show. Make it a date or bring the entire family. You're going to fall in love with the selection and savings. Shop the latest boats, RVs, and motorsports. Zip line across Rupp Arena with Red River Gorge Zip Line. Brought to you by Kentucky Select Chevy Dealers. This year's special guest is everyone's favorite angler, G-Man, Gerald Swindle. Visit the Kentucky Sport Boat and Recreation Show. Brought to you by Lee's Ford Marina. Wednesday night's Powerball jackpot is at $112 million. Kentucky Lottery is Keto, the exciting way to have fun every five minutes. Fueling imagination. Funding education. These are my dogs, Dusty and Cooper. I work for the dogs 24-7. I am the butler. These dogs shed like crazy. It's like being inside of a snow globe. It takes an awful lot of time to keep the house clean. I don't know what to do. What's this? Swiffer, sweeper, and dusters. This is nice and easy, boys. It really sticks to it. It fits in all the tight spaces. This is really great. Does that look familiar to you? I'm no longer the butler. I'm just one of the guys. Every day holds promise. A chance to do things a little better than the day before. An opportunity to make a difference, one life at a time. 
At Clark Regional Medical Center, we are working to redefine excellence in healthcare by providing the technology, specialties, and services you need right here at home. Together, making communities healthier. That's the promise of Clark. Kentucky schools are not failing. We can't be failing if more students are graduating from high school, more students are making proficient in advancing the state mandated testing. We have successes in our school every single day. Whether students love or hate science, I'm going to work with them to make sure that they get what they need from my class to be successful once they leave my class. Come see the awesome work our students are doing and you'll see success. Just get to the news. Kentucky, we hear you. There's more real news every morning on CBS This Morning. Right after WKYT This Morning, your most watched station. Well, we've seen this thing before. Kentucky gets a comfortable lead and then has to scratch and claw to try and get a win, and that's what happened tonight against the Tennessee Volunteers. This lob to Alex Poitras makes it 14-6, and UK starts to kick the orange right out of Tennessee. Poitras is stripped here, but the Cats control it. Derek Willis does the rest, and the lead doubles on the dunk. It's 22-11 when Willis is three, makes it 25-11 Kentucky, and all is going well. Kentucky enjoys its biggest lead when Isaiah Briscoe beats the shot clock on the reverse layup. 34-13. The Vols make a run and close the gap to six. Tyler Eulis with a nice take. Kentucky holds a 42-36 lead at the half. The Vols rally continues and boy does it ever. Armani Moore strips Poitras of the ball, feeds Devin Bulkman who slams it down 42-38. It's now 46-40. Kevin Punter shoots over Derek Willis. Lead down to three. Jamal Murray dribbling display out front. It's Briscoe, 48-43 UK. Here come the balls again, down one. Detrick Mustella by himself on the wing in Tennessee's first lead of the game, 56-54. Timeout, Kentucky, and even the Penguin is pumped about it. But the Cats counter. Tyler Eulis hits this three from up top, 57-56. Willis, he'll follow it next time down. Another three, and you think... Kentucky may have just weathered the storm a little bit. 60-56. Down three. The ball's Armani Moore, the best-dressed man in college basketball. Doesn't want to shoot. Then he does. Tied at 63. Next time down, Tennessee gets the lead. Robert Hubs the third. The turnaround. More from Rocky Top. The lead just starts to grow on Kentucky. Shabari Phillips right down the lane. 68-63. Jamal Murray breaks the drought momentarily, rattling in the triple. 68-66, Murray with 21. Now 73-70, punter out of his mind tonight. Let's it fly. Knoxville is lit. 76-70, Cal doesn't know what's going on. Kentucky with one last push. Marcus Lee would get the put back there. Murray, he gonna hit one more three from the corner. That's 80-77 but Kentucky would not score again. The Vols upset UK 84-77. Rob Bromley was there. The Wildcats found out tonight when they're up by 21 in the first half, they haven't accomplished anything. Nothing. A 28-point turnaround. Who can remember Kentucky blowing a 21-point lead? I'm just disappointed. I mean, it's it, when I see just plays that you can't win making those kind of plays. You, it's, it is not, I'm just trying to do something. You can't play basketball that way. John Calipari said he was concerned coming off the game at Kansas, but winning plays. Cal has talked so much about winning plays, and they were not made tonight. We just haven't surrendered to it yet. They're, they're still, my stuff works, okay? At what point is it going to work? So they haven't surrendered to it. I mean, that's winning plays and losing plays. A winning plays, I'm there, it hits, I go and I dive on the floor, I get it, I tip it to a friend, and we play. We're not there. Another road loss for the Cats, and they have tough road games here in the month of February. They still have to go to South Carolina, Texas A&M, Vanderbilt, and Florida. In Knoxville, Rob Bromley, WDKYT. Thank you, Rob. Now to high school basketball, Lexington Catholic and Lafayette. Three weeks ago, Lafayette won at Catholic 66-63. First half we go where the generals go inside of that young man. Number 44, Ross Jenkins. He had a game-high 17. 
Catholic was playing catch up, but they get right back in at deep three by Luke Johnson. That lefty can shoot it. He had 15. It's a three point advantage for the Generals. And then Juante Carpenter drives baseline. Big fellow with a nice touch. And it's a repeat of the exact same score the first time. Lafayette wins again, 66 63. Madison Central and Henry Clay both with wins over Trinity in the last week. Second half, Indians John Williams showing off the handle before knocking down the jumper. But Henry Clay getting a big night from Leander Ridgeway. The lefty goes left for two. And then on the break, right after that, he's going to flip it behind the back. Hey, and then finishes one more time. Henry Clay, they're on a roll, 55 to 45. And history made tonight in Paintsville. Jenkins guard Whitney Creech hits this jumper to surpass Jamie Walls as Kentucky's all time scoring champion. She hit for a career high 71 tonight. Jenkins wins 90 87 in overtime. Creech now has 4,957 career points. She joined the varsity team at Jenkins as a fifth grader when she scored her first five points. Congratulations to that young lady. That's sports. We'll be right back. Alt Smoke Vapor Lounge specializes in a variety of electronic devices and refill liquids. Let our team of experts help customize your vaping experience. Stop in and see why we are Lexington's premier vape lounge. Touch, taste, and feel the difference with Alt Smoke. Choosing a college is about setting a course, a path that leads to your destination. At EKU, the adventure is what lies in between. Eastern Kentucky University. Great journeys begin here. If your home office or church is in need of accessibility, visit the friendly specialist at Transitions Lift and Elevator today. Make an appointment at our drive-in showroom where we'll demonstrate the benefits of our easy-to-use Bruno stair lift system, wheelchair lifts, and elevators before we install them. Our top-of-the-line affordable equipment is easy to use and custom-made to fit any home or business. Transitions Lift and Elevator is a local family-owned company and a factory-trained and certified Bruno dealer serving all of Kentucky. Like to know how to avoid measuring, marking, and bad cuts with your circular saw? With the Craig Rip Cut Saw Guide, you'll make those accurate cuts repeatedly without measuring or marking your boards. The Rip Cut adjusts quickly to your cutting width, making cuts in plywood and MDF fast, easy, and accurate every time. Great projects all start with perfect cuts, so get the Craig Rip Cut Saw Guide today. Satisfaction guaranteed or your money back. Get your Craig Rip Cut at CraigCutting.com or these and other fine retailers. Get on your computer or mobile device. Because of all the great Toyota deals out there, most are not seen on TV. That's why you need to visit buyatoyota.com for a huge selection of savings offers that couldn't possibly fit in a TV commercial, including 0% financing, great lease deals, and two-year no-cost maintenance. So get on your computer or mobile device and go to buyatoyota.com, Toyota's official website for deals. Toyota, let's go places. My name is Bob DeArmond. I've had irregular heartbeat since 2007. In 2013, Bob took part in a clinical research trial where a cardiac ablation procedure corrected his atrial fibrillation or irregular heartbeat. As the nation's first hospital to receive AFib accreditation, our specialists help patients like Bob live healthier lives. I feel very, very blessed and I lead a normal, active life. If your home or business has suffered damages due to storms, fire, water, or theft, we have an experienced team that can help you with your insurance claim. Morgan & Morgan, for the people. At the end of the broadcast, I'm most proud of what we have done as a team and all of the people who have risked their lives to tell the news and to deliver to the American people the highest quality news broadcast today. For tonight's overtime, I brought in my friend Ryan Lemon because we are excited about signing day. Signing day is tomorrow, and Ryan, I think Kentucky may have.
the best class in the Mark Stoops era. And the good thing about it is the core of it are Kentucky guys. Cash Daniels, Drake Jackson, and Landon Young, Kentucky kids that have helped keep this class together. Usually on signing day, you get some kids who flip now and then, but tomorrow Kentucky kind of knows who they're going to have. And they probably have the best offensive line group that they've ever had at Kentucky. Three five-star kids. To me, that's the big story of the class. Offensive linemen. It's not sexy, Ryan, but it's been a problem for Kentucky over the years. Yeah, and you had the Juco kid, Tate Levitt, who becomes eligible. We've become O-line you, I think, in Kentucky, especially for next season. So it's going to be an exciting day tomorrow for signing day. 8 a.m. on UKAthletics.com. You can watch it. Check it out. Big day for Mark Stoops and some positive momentum going forward. I'm Matt Jones. And this has been Overtime. Matt, thank you. All right, we can hear the rain coming down pretty good right now. Yeah, dealing with the rain right now. The severe weather threat is low. We'll be here all night, though, to track it. A lot of gusty winds and heavy rain. Thanks for watching tonight. See you tomorrow.